Welcome back to Factorio, uh, Factorio with me, JT. Um, so I've run the belts down, I'll get to those in a second. I've put in just a burnables. Alright, just so I could dump the wood and the coal that was sitting in my inventory and wooden power poles and anything else burnable into a priority splitter, which we've covered before, a priority filler, splitter, whatever you want to call it. No, filler, filler. Um, it prioritizes this lane. So, and as demoed before, it'll just, the coal will fill in whatever. Um, these inserters can't fill in first. Now, I haven't put in fa fast inserters. My attitude is, you know, st standard inserters will work. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to work. Um, and normally I'd put in four or six either side, but frankly, I didn't want to move the power poles. Um, I've also picked up some more brick whilst we're back at home pace. Oh, and I've... I changed the mod option, but it didn't save for some reason. Um, all right. Jump the next episode. All right. We're going to put in... Oh, I still can't run, run a straight line. Can't delete in a straight line either. Okay. Uh, we are put in a brick road running... That was the tree's fault. That was not my fault. Uh, go away, tree. Put in a brick road running south because no, I want to dig that up actually. And obviously didn't bring enough with me um, because there's going to be a fair bit of running, running north and south. Uh, let's bring some light over here so we can see what we're doing because of course it's night time now I have I've I, I've I took the second belt across because at the end of the day we need a coal belt to run down the main line for grenades if you remember because all this production is going to get moved over to here eventually um, so with that in mind I then took the second lane down to do filling for all uh, our furnaces. Now I'm hoping one lane is enough. If it's not, then I'll end up taking the, the second lane. I'll end up re-putting this on the first lane. I'll take the second lane down, um, so far down, and I'll just re-inject it into one of these, probably about halfway down. So about here, and I'll inject it in here, um, into this splitter, which will then fill up the rest of the, the, the belt. Um, yeah. So, we're down to our steel smelting. Now, as I said, these are done in blocks of four. So one, two, oh, look, there's more steel smelters I missed. Three, four. So I need to be some. And then one, two, three, four. Uh, so what we're going to actually do is we're going to take our blueprint and we're going to come up here and we're going to blueprint our little splitter. I'm going to pop it right there. Now, I know it's overkill, um, but that is half the point. Uh, put that in there, that in there. Uh, now, because we're not using half of this, we can actually delete that half. Uh, that little section is not doing anything. But this gives us, this has turned one lane into four lanes. It's evenly balanced out to be four. Um, now this is, a, as I said, this is way overkill. Technically, if I put feet in the top, that's 50-50. That's 25-25-25 over all four lanes. Um, which in retrospect is probably what I should do. Because it doesn't have to be perfectly balanced. Um... And takes up way less resources. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one of those in there. Now JD has come to his senses. So that's taken one lane, turn it into four. But we've got eight of these to feed. So I'm actually going to split it again. Uh, no, I'm going to go them back one square. Uh, and I'm going to do that. So 
So one red belt in will feed two yellow belts out. Perfectly. Uh, same story. Put down uh, one of those. Come on, belts. Come down here. Don't beep at me, game. Go away, tree. Uh, one there. A one of those there. Uh, and lastly, whoops. One of those. Why don't you reach? Oh, because I'm one square high. That would be why. So, it does mean I'm taking one belt of coal and I'm now splitting it eight ways. Um, it's less than perfect, but honestly, there should be more than enough coal on this belt if I had enough of it uh, if I had enough belt to keep the system running and we're going to go back up to game speed 2 so we need more undergrounds we need more fast transport belt uh, do we need more splitters? no, nah, well we'll take half a stack and we'll put the rest back uh, I never automated those. Hmm. Uh, sure. I don't have any iron. Of course I don't have any iron. Uh, fast inserter. There, there. You make gears, oh, copy and paste. You make reds. And output. Output looks like it's going to go over here. Um, power pole. Unfortunately, just because of the sheer number of gear wheels it takes, uh, I'm going to remove that inserter. I'm going to take it a step stack or 15 of belts I'm going to raid this gear machine and I'm going to handcraft 15 how many I have on me? I've still got more I'm going to take all those and handcraft 20 of them they don't take long to craft, that's the thing they really don't take long to craft um, they just use a shit ton of gears uh put those in there and if I put those in there they'll get fed into the system slowly and eventually all right so we're gonna run back up to where we were we're gonna finish off the second lot of coal I forgot to get more brick uh, yep no brick on me that's all right trees in the way of course We're going to blueprint that. It's no... Technically, like, like the bots are not going to do it, obviously, because we have no bots. Um, it doesn't really help me line things up, because it's not that hard to line up. It just gives me a quick, a quick spot where I can click... Uh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, and I can just press Q over and over. Which just speeds the process up for me. 
Um, I'm not saying that you guys should ever do you know, quick lazy blueprints like this. Um, just personally, yeah. Even even though I know I can use one two three, you know one one two three four five shift one two three four five, and press X to swap them around to to use my tool belt. Um, ever since we had the 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 what's it called the Q button added in fifteen. Um, I, I really can't remember what it's called now. I know it used to be a mod called Pick a Tool, and because it was a mod, I avoided it. Because um, I didn't think it added... It didn't add enough to the game for me to merit using it as a mod. Um, but now it's in vanilla. I, I admit, I... Pipette Tool, that's it. It's called a Pipette Tool. Um, now it's in vanilla. I use it all the time. I, I cannot live without it. Uh, I'm going to go back up to our Burnables chest and dump the rest of this shit. Uh, we're going to make one landfill to get rid of that stone. Okay. So, then we need to actually start planning the exit to this being our actual main bus. Uh, we're going to run back over here. We're going to use our path to get back down the bottom because it's easier to start planning from the bottom than it is from the top. And we're going to start with steel. Mm, you not be working. You didn't get enough coal. You didn't get enough coal. Some of these guys got broken. It happens. Burner and are normally pretty good, but they are far from perfect. Um, pick up more coal off the belt. It just needs one bit of coal to fire it up. Uh, just just a little bit to prime it, and then we're good to go. Uh, you, you. Which probably means there was some sort of debris on the belt that they tried to pick up. Or um, maybe the coal was moving too fast, and their friend stole the coal out from under them. That happens too. Uh, done. Alright, tree clearing time. Without killing myself, please. Oh shit, almost did it again. <gasps> Ooh! See, trees are the real enemy. Oh, actually, research, 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 research. So, there's plenty of research we can do. But at the moment, I'm just powering through the things that, like, the military ones that won't matter to us because biters have been turned off. That'll do. That'll do. Okay. No, it won't. There's still trees in the way. Oh. Alright. The third, so I said, I said that the limiting, yeah, you know, the most important resources you have in the game is UPS first, your time second, and some people would argue map space. Um, I'm not one of those people because I know the map is infinite, and if you're stuck between you and biters, that's a you problem. It's in the way that you've built the base. Um, power on through that research as well. Um, basically, because I know there's four of these, and it's four of these to fill one red belt, I don't need it to be red belt till it gets to here. So I basically... Yellow belt's fine. I want a straight line. So hold down shift to get the blueprint tool. And um, just from map view, drag straight up. That gives me a straight line to hit. Uh, put that one in there, put that one in there. Now, I've only got red splitters on me, so I'll use them, because it's all I've got. But, frankly, each one of these splitters could be a yellow one. Uh, oh, look, we're out of yellow belt. So, now I'm going to be dirty, and I'm going to use red belt for the last part, which will have the least amount of steel on it. Okay, same story. 
this one actually has to be red belt. Uh, where are we? No, it's still further. There. Because... Oh. Thanks, belt. At this point here, being the fourth smelter, it will actually be a red belt out. Uh, put that down there. Put that down there. Bring you out and down. Three. One to go back. Okay, so that's our steel. So that'll give us two belts output worth of steel. No, we can't do that one. Um, what other research can we do? Bullet shooting speed. Yeah. All right, so that's the start of our bus. That is steel line. Um, we need a gap. We need at least a two square gap. And the reason we do that is because underground hoods are two squares. I normally like, because I know space is unlimited, to go one, two, three, four. All right, four gap lets me put power down here. It lets me put robo ports down here. It lets me put whatever I feel so inclined to put down here. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, get these placed down. So we've got We've got stone, then we've got iron, and then we've got copper, or, or copper and, and iron, it really doesn't matter. But stone is the top. Now, in theory, you would assume eight for, uh, eight for co copper. Uh, one, two, three, four. Eight for iron. And then another gap. Two for stone. Uh, two for for brick and then coal oh yeah so that becomes coal that becomes stone because we need stone for construction later um, and then you start going to green circuits and everything else um, catch is where are we green green circuits uh, no, we can't do that research. Okay, go away. Green circuits. Green circuits we use a lot of. And for every one, one iron, we use one and a half copper. So what I'm actually going to do straight off the bat is I'm going to take six lanes of copper. Which means... Yeah, six lanes of copper, which means three lanes of iron straight away out of my bus and make them into green circuits. And they'll be dedicated lines. So it means those three are now gone. That's one iron. Uh, so it means I go from eight lanes of iron down to five lanes of iron. And because we're already in red belt, um, we can span that whole gap with a with a tile spare uh, with a red belt. With yellow, because they only spend four, it's why most people's bus you'll find a four and then a gap and then a four. So straight away, we're cutting down the amount of iron we're going to take down the bus. Uh, and then we'll put a one, two, three, four gap. So this is our next one. And we've taken away six lanes of copper. So we've only got two lanes of copper. Now, that should give us, on the output, it should give us two dedicated lines. No, what did I say? Six, which is three lanes of iron. So it should give us three dedicated lines of green copper. 
uh, green circuits. I'm actually going to make room for four, just in case all right, we end up having to build an extra build to fill a fourth line, lane. So, uh, okay, so then we come across to here. Now we're talking about doing... Oh, go away. So now we're talking about this one becomes our stone. Do we have some stone? Let's put some stone on that one. So you become stone. Uh, you become coal. I don't have any coal, but wood is burnable. So we'll call that coal. Uh, I actually be the other way around. Uh, that one. So that's stone. That's brick. That's coal. Uh, we're going to put in a spare lane for something important. Um, what that happens to be, who knows. Uh, we're then going to need one, two, three, four. Uh, at least a lane, if not two, for red circuits. And then we're going to go from there. So, now that we know roughly what we're doing bus-wise, uh, we want that splitter saved. We don't need that saved. We're going to copy that as is. We're going to hold down the shift button. And we're going to run up the map. Because we know we want this to span fairly high up. If not, that's one hell of a rock. Um, if not all the way up, um, definitely high up the map. Now stuff's getting in my way. Uh, map view. Done. So, let's assume this is going to be... Um, let's assume that's going to be copper, because that'll give us more room for the iron. Uh... No, let's assume that's going to be iron. Um, do we have time to do it this episode? Oh, we should have time to do it this episode. Uh, okay. We need to clear some space. Get rid of all this junk that's in the way. Luckily, I decided to build it in a desert rather than in a forest because that would be annoying. Uh, okay, so we did from there to there. Now, we had a four-lane balancer. Um, it's timed up the ante. And if I find the right blueprint... Uh, import. We have an eight-lane balancer. Uh, which I'm going to pop... Where's the middle of this? Right about here. And it's around the wrong way. Of course it is. Okay. Um, and th this is this is a Madzuri, who's the player that created it. Um, or at least he's been credited with the creation. I, I don't know. I, I'm not in his mind. Um, it's it's a Zuri 8 to 8 balancer. Um, which I have tweaked, so it's all the same length, because this is slightly off, um, one side slightly longer than the other, and the other thing I've done is I've trimmed out some of these underground belts, because we just don't need that one. It's the only one I can get rid of. Uh, there to there, there to there, there to there. There to there, there to there. Um, this is another point of using the, the, the quick tool. Um, the pipette tool, that's it. Uh, sometimes when you look at this, you're like, which way does that belt go in that? Just hit Q. Just hit Q, it'll automatically put the belt in your inventory facing the right direction. So, same story, this is an 8 to 8. Uh, I have... What's something I've got? Okay, you can go there. Uh, do I have any wooden chests? I do. Put you there. Put 16 of you in there with a power pole. And a... F slow the game speed down. Fast inserter. 
And in theory, we should end up with two of these guys on every lane. Uh, nope. No. Oh, uh, yes. And uh, last guy pops out here. Perfect. So that is eight lanes in, or up to eight lanes in, up to eight lanes out. Oh, wrong way. We want to go back to double speed. I know, I pressed the wrong button game. Shh. Okay, so we're going to take out eight copper lanes. Oh, wrong direction. Oh, you go to there. Next lane goes to there. Next lane goes to there. I'm going to feed all eight copper lanes in. Now, I know there's no actual copper on the copper lanes, but we'll get there. We want to make sure that what we feed in comes all the way back out and balanced. Um, the theory being that if one of these starts lacking behind for some reason, any reason in the world, um, the other seven have 10,000 transport belts placed at the same time. Woohoo! Another achievement. Um, the idea is that, yes, if one of these fall behind for any one reason, um, we're good, we're fine, it, the, the, the base won't stagger to a horrible death, um, the other seven can take over for it, so to speak. Uh, and then, we need to clear some more space, and do the exact same for this build, which is... no. That direction. Uh, which is there. Um, and I'm out of belt. I'm out of belt. Which is probably a good spot to leave this episode. Um, it means I can go back and resupply again. And I'll actually finish building this off camera. Uh, that one goes there, that one goes there, that there, that there. Um, the rest is all built. Um, yeah, this is a good spot to leave this episode, I think. Um, thank you guys for watching, as always. Um, and we'll come back in the next episode, and hopefully I've remembered to pick up some brick, finish this... And then we'll go actually about hooking up the input and clearing some space with about 10,000 grenades. We have copper here and here. We have iron here, here. Oh, probably this one. Um, and maybe feed this one into steel. I don't know. I don't know. We're not short on resources, that's for sure. But yes, as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. Um, any thoughts, any comments, any questions, um, by all means, put them down the bottom, along with, look, let, let's have some random abuse this episode. I, I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit, a little bit forgotten. You guys just don't hate me anymore. I don't know. Um, but yeah, as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.